Electric water heaters will have one or two heating elements to heat the water in the tank. To help determine if a heating element is defective, you can test the component for continuity, a continuous electrical path that should be present in the part. If the element has no continuity, then the part has failed. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the leads together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you perform the test, make sure you shut off the power supply to the unit. Next, remove the appropriate access panel. Move the insulation out of the way and detach the protective cover. Isolate the element from the circuit by removing the power wires. Now touch a lead to one of the element's terminals and the other lead to the second terminal. The meter reading should indicate 10 to 30 ohms of resistance if the component has continuity. However, if the analog meter needle does not move at all, or the digital display does not change significantly, then the component has no continuity and is defective. It's also possible that the heating element has shorted. Touch one lead to a terminal and the second lead to the element nut or the tank. If the meter display shows ohms of resistance, the component has shorted and will need to be replaced.